Hey guys, welcome back. I recently returned from a short trip to a lovely town called Jackson Hole. If you haven't heard of it, it's in Wyoming here in the United States. During the trip, I got to do a ton of urban sketching. Although some days were below negative, I still was able to sit outside and paint the snow. This was a snowboarding trip, but I couldn't help but take little breaks in between to capture the scenery. I had a chance to explore the town a bit, and some days were really, really cold. I happened to take some pictures and videos of places that really grabbed my attention. So in this video, I'd love to sit down together and paint some of the memories that will forever be in my heart. There are a few photos that I'm just itching to paint, so we'll be having a cozy sketchbook session. But before we begin, let me show you around town a little bit and share more about my trip. I had about six hours to kill during the flight. I had a connecting flight with a layover, which means extra time to sketch and watch awesome movies, of course. Since I currently live in a sunny state in the south, all the way on the east coast, it was definitely refreshing to land in the west coast with some beautiful mountains around. Wyoming is home to the Yellowstone National Park, and as soon as you land, you have an incredible view of the Teton Mountains. On the next day, we went right onto the mountain to do some snowboarding, and after a few hours, I was ready to get some sketching in. The sun came out, it was shining, and it was pretty warm to sit outside in all of my layers. But I was able to spend about an hour or so painting before the mountain closed. I really love painting from life because I'm able to capture the feeling in the moment and also the light. And it's fun to see icicles form in the watercolors when you're painting in the winter. That was definitely a fun spread, and on another day, I was inspired by the birch trees that I see all around. So after another day of boarding, I sat by the fireplace and captured this scene. It was quite rewarding to return back to the hotel room with a cozy fireplace and a place to get warm. On the first night, I noticed this beautiful lamp we had in the room with a red curtain behind it. And of course, I had to paint it in the sketchbook. When the lighting is perfect, I just cannot help myself. I honestly wish I can paint everything and share everything with you, which is why we'll be painting some of the scenes together in a little bit. But regardless, the trip was full of so much fun, lots of food, lots of great company. I fell in love with the town, which gave me winter wonderland vibes. I visited some beautiful art galleries as well, and I walked around all over to see what would grab my attention. I came across some unforgettable views, I knew I wasn't able to paint them in that very moment, but ever since laying my eyes on these views, I cannot get them out of my head. So, why don't we paint them together? To ensure that my creative sessions go smoothly, I spend some extra time on a step that I believe is often overlooked. I believe the preparation step is crucial from the way you prepare your paper, the way you sort out your palette. Personally for me, it can even be the atmosphere I create. Having everything ready at hand helps me focus on the painting itself rather than searching around for what I'm missing. So once everything's prepared, I have gessoed my paper. And while the sketchbook page is drawing, I'm going to prepare my references from my trip. I took photos of places that really stood out to me on my phone and then just imported them onto my iPad so that I have a larger screen to paint from. 
I often get asked if I paint on location or from photos, and I guess it just depends on the time I have and how cold it is. In this video, I wanted to share how I do both, and since I wanted to paint some memories when painting from photos now, I still enjoy composing my own photograph, to which then I translate into a painting. As always, I'm starting off with very light washes over certain areas to lay my foundation in. I usually start with a warm wash, but since this is a relatively cool painting with lots of blues, I kept the underpainting the same. I fell in love with this view, specifically because of the little houses, just the contrast of shapes and also the mountain in the background. I just had to capture it. And as the process unfolds, I want to take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsors, Squarespace. When painting on the go, or whenever traveling, you're more than likely to bump into people who will be curious to see more of your work. When I was painting on the mountain, I had a few people come up to me and ask me if I had a website. Luckily, I've built my website in the all-in-one platform thanks to Squarespace's amazing templates. I'm able to showcase my portfolio as an artist, so whenever anyone asks, I know that there's a designated place showcasing my artwork. I'm also even able to run my shop through Squarespace. You can start your free trial by going to squarespace.com, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash jesscarp and you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. As the painting comes to life and I continue to work in layers, I make sure to pay close attention to things that I want to be in detail and things that I want to recede back in space. In the photo that I took, I noticed that I caught a person walking their dog, and I thought this was just such a sweet little element to add, and I think it's one of my favorites in this painting. As I'm getting closer to the finish of the piece, I mix a more opaque consistency of gouache, and then I start focusing on the highlights. Since the sun is hitting the mountain, I add a tiny bit of yellow, and here is the completed painting. Definitely can end the video there, so let's do another painting. I'm feeling super inspired from my travels, and this next photo I took, I'm not quite sure why I was so drawn to it. I just love the colors and the compositions of my view, and I'm not sure why motels have a very mysterious, interesting feel to them. So I'm starting off with the sketch. There was two-point perspective, and this would be a pretty complex painting, so I made sure to take my time, and I focused on the lines to be parallel to the edge of the paper. Whenever doing street views or architectural buildings, perspective is key, so I really make sure to study the reference and make sure that the perspective is there. In the previous painting, I did a very warm underpainting, and here's an example of where I do a warm underpainting. When it comes to toning the surface, laying in some color over the white paper allows the paint to build up properly, and I found that I really love this process. And I've said this in previous videos, but I love gouache since you can use it like watercolor very lightly at first, and it allows you to build up the opacity as you go on. I've grown to love gouache so much, it definitely takes some time getting used to and getting the hang of, but I do love the fact that you can get bold with it if you'd like.
order to get the really bright whites for my painting, I'm using this white acrylic Posca pen. And then to really bring the luminous reds to life, I'm using the acrylic gouache and check out how cool it makes that car look. I'm a big lover of mixed media and sometimes when I'm craving a little bit more texture, I like to finish it off with some colored pencil. The pencil also allows me to get into the little details and spaces that a brush would not fit. And I think that it creates a really beautiful variety. Alrighty, here's the completed second spread. I'm so, so happy with the way these turn out and it felt so great to get cozy and paint some memories with you. I hope this inspires you to paint your memories. Next time you're out and about or simply when you see something that grabs your attention, take a photo of it and paint it. If it's something that resonates with you, the beautiful results will communicate. If you'd like to receive one of these as a print, one of these will be February's Patreon exclusive Happy Mail postcards for the top two tiers. So if you'd like to grab a spot, check out my Patreon for some exclusive content including videos, monthly motivation, live sessions, and more. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting. I'm wishing you an incredible day or night wherever you are. Don't forget to stay cozy and of course stay creative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!